What this course really emphasized is exploring the expressive behavior of machines, and especially that related to the dynamic physical motion. That can also include the interactions between machines and machines and humans and machines in the world, all of these loosely lumped under the interaction of machines and their environment, um, designed to convey some kind of narrative or feeling, some kind of artistic purpose. To put this in perspective, what the chorus really isn't uh, will be uh, a lot of traditional robotics topics. So it's not concerned with robots as fabrication machinery, like factory robots or machines that assemble things. It's not concerned with like domestic or service robots that are out to solve practical problems. Um, lots of topics end up not being uh, sort of included um, for scope here, which would be like mobile robots, planning and navigation, um, traditional artificial intelligence machine learning. That said, the truth is this course is adapted each year to the interests of the students and the skill level of the students. So uh, what we do is, is largely up to you. And if you felt that some elements of these, like machine learning or simple computer vision, could be an important part of an expressive project, then I believe we can find ways to take kind of novice level takes on these things um, and use them in simple ways that are still um, incorporate the ideas. There are, I think, straightforward ways to use, especially simple machine learning models or kind of simple optimization techniques to create richer outcomes um, that are don't involve the full scope of theory. I have kind of a creative principle here, a favorite operating principle, if you will, for these classes, which is that all ideas can be rendered at all scales. It's really about identifying an underlying, un underlying fundamental question in an idea and regressing it back to the point that it can be accomplished within our limited means. We won't have a lot of material or time, especially time. One semester is a pretty short scope in which to try to like learn a bunch of robotics and build a new machine. But I think that even a grand notion can be rendered in fairly simple form. I think if there is some core idea that can be expressed, there is a simple rendition of it that will still frame the essential questions and still ask the essential questions. And by clarifying that, often we get a better outcome. And then we'll look for some kind of simple physical rendition that we can simulate and then hopefully build uh, to explore and, and perform that idea.